Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Uh, so I've been pretty busy. Um, my uh, rotary valve project has uh, kind of been at a standstill. I've been working on some customer jobs, um, but I'm just uh, finishing some stuff up, so I'm ready to get back to it. So a couple things have been coming in. Um, the first thing is um, bronze powder. So this is a, uh, a pre-mix um, 9010, uh, so bronze, or excuse me, copper, um, copper tin, uh, bronze powder mix. Uh, so it'd be 90% copper and 10% uh, tin. And it is uh, for sintering for making uh, powdered metal parts. Uh, there's not, uh, not a whole lot to say about it. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a real fine uh, powder mixture. I forget uh, the mesh size. I've got that, uh, that information somewhere. Um, the other thing, uh, and you know, just a little rant. So um, this particular company, um, uh, pretty nice folks, talk to them. They, uh, they sent me a sample size. Um, normally they sell in um, very large volume. Um, and, you know, I'm a legitimate business, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty small peanuts, uh, but they were willing to work with me. However, you know, it, it, took, them, uh, it took them two weeks just to get the product uh, shipped out, and then another week to, uh, for it to get here. So it took three weeks. The other company I was talking to, um, I had called, um, to talked to a few folks. They said the person I needed to talk to to get something ordered was out on a sales call, and... Um, so I left them a message to call me back, wait a couple weeks, they never call me back, um, call them back again, talk to three different people, um, finally saying I needed to talk to the person, the previous person, after I figured out what, I, what product I needed from them, they transferred me back to that person, and um, they didn't answer their phone, leave a message, they never call me back. I go on their main company website, um, fill out a uh, you know their uh, their standard form on their website with my contact information, my official business name. Never call me back. So you know it's, it's pretty aggravating. Um, it's it's surprising some some folks are in business. <laughs> so with that rant out of the way, so this is for um, my uh, val seal material that I am going to be some doing some R&D on. So the other things that have come in are open this up and show you. This is uh, powdered graphite and um, let's see I forget uh, what uh, particular size that is. I think it's rate graded in uh, microns. And this is uh, HBN or hexagonal boron nitride powder. So um, basically, uh, I found some some research papers um, that have uh, discussed the, their findings. Um, sintering um, bronze or excuse me, uh, copper alloys uh, like bronze with um, different amounts of graphite and hexagonal boron nitride and uh, they had some pretty promising results uh, for the application I'm looking at using this for. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, building a, uh, I, I need to next make a, a die uh, to press the, uh, the powder metal and the lubricant mixture in and uh, I'll cold press it um, and then I will center it and uh, sintering is basically putting it uh, in, a, in an oven at a controlled temperature and uh, the actual uh, powdered uh, metal particles actually grow together and the grains grow together and it becomes a, a solid part. It's, uh, it's actually quite widely used in industry. Um, so in order to do that, I do have a furnace, uh, but it is for casting. So it's uh, not gonna be well suited to the, for this. So I'm gonna make an electric furnace. So some other things I've got that uh, came in is uh, cantle wire. Uh, so this is a resistive uh, heating element wire. Uh, solid state relay. I've got, uh, a, just, I think, a decent quality uh, PID. Um, so this will basically control the solid state relay and uh, I'll be able to uh, 
control the temperature and I can also set wrap times and soak times and such. And uh, so I'm going to build a furnace and what I'm planning on using, I've got some leftover um, insulating blanket. This is a ceramic uh, insulating blanket. I forget the brand. It's similar to like K-Wool or whatever. Um, so my plan is uh, to build that next. Um, and uh, I plan on making some, some videos on uh, the construction process of that and any lessons learned. Um, and that's pretty much what's going on today. I thought I'd give you guys an update. I'm really excited to get uh, back to working on the rotary valve project. Um, but I've got to get this uh, this done first, uh, make the furnace and such. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll make you some more videos.